Hello, it's November, and in this video, John's going to show you how he cuts back our Marguerite Daisy Jamaica Primrose, which we've had potted up and outside all summer. We need to take it inside now before the first frost come, look after it, overwinter it, so it'll give us lots of lovely cuttings for next spring. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and would like to learn about some propagation techniques, a bit of pest control, how to grow some vegetables, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some extra tips and advice. If you like learning those things, do consider following us. There's no charge, just push the subscribe button. Don't forget to push the all important notification bell. That lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning again. You'll recall back in the spring we took cuttings of this Argyranthemum. It's one called Jamaica Primrose. Uh, we, I think we took cuttings and we potted them up and we've grown them on. And they've really been quite a show most of the summer. Um, they're still looking okay and I'm going to leave this one because it's still, still got lots of flowers on it. And uh, I know we've had frost forecast and they're going to come sooner or later. But I'm going to leave this one to, to let it do its best. and. Uh, when it's been cut back then we'll look at it again maybe but i do have another one which doesn't you know which is uh, very similar and i'm going to prepare that one i'm going to cut it back and put it in the garden room so that we can enjoy it during the the winter right so this is the one that i'm going to to um, prepare to, to overwinter um, i could take cuttings now and, and overwinter them as cuttings but I think, you know, having the room, it might be quite nice to just to cut the plant back and take cuttings in the spring. They tend to root better in the spring anyway. So, uh, where do we start? Um, first of all, let's get rid of all the old dead leaves which have fallen into it. Um, that's not to tidy it up. I'm sure the rest will come out when we do that. Got a support here which I'm going to remove. It's, a, it's basically little canes which are holding it up. But whenever I'm working on these pots, I like to remove canes because they don't catch your eye or anything. So, so we'll take those out and uh, keep it safe. Um, a string was put around there just to hold it up when it was a little bit uh, loose earlier on. So, so there we are. Now the sand vitalia or creeping zinnia is quite nice. I'm going to leave that as it is because it doesn't, there's no dead on it, nothing to cut back and hopefully that'll keep flowering through the, through the winter. But when I come to the um, Argyranthemum here, there's a piece which is broken off anyway. So what I'm trying to do is, is let's get the secretaries, is to take the, take the pieces back to, new sh to, to nice fresh new shoots. So if I take that off to there, get rid of that piece, what I've left for myself is a nice new, new growth coming up there and there'll be a bud in the middle there and we might get some flowers later on in the year. And so I'm just working around the plant, taking it back to new shoots. Um, I'd like to take it back to buds if there were buds, but when you look at it like this, most of it now has, has gone over. That actually you might, let's try taking that one off to there. And there's a flower survived, so that gives you a bit of color, doesn't it? Well, I've also got this um, little convolvulus mortanicus, which is, looking good so we'll leave that one in and hope that will come on as well so obviously i mean if you look at a piece like this there's a lot of dead stuff up here some buds as well unfortunately but we can keep those so take that piece off and then what we've left is a is a, is a bud some shoots so work your way around and through it just getting into the middle and um, opening it up a little bit trying to leave a few i mean, the whole point is have some flowers during the winter. So um, take that one back to there and you've left a little bud there. Right, so here we are, there's a nice piece, quite tall. If I took that off, to take the dead bit out, that might look all right, might it? There we are. Um, and of course, what you're getting here is lots of nice new shoots for winter, for spring cuttings. There's a lot of dead in that piece. I don't think we can do much with that, can we? Take that one out and maybe Maybe that will shoot there. Just obviously the dead bits, uh, and and I'm bringing it back to shape, bringing it back to size, and trying to keep the flowers which are uh, um, going to keep going. This one's gone right out that way, so we'll take him back there, keep it a bit tidier. Sometimes when you get a piece coming right from the middle, it's worth 
going back a bit low, taking it out, and you'll get new buds coming up. But yeah, we're still getting a few flowers we're, we're saving here. Go back and attack it from this side now. Yeah, that piece is coming right down, but there's a little, some shoots here, you see, so take it back to there. A lot of dead in that piece, so we'll take the cut. Well, if, you, if you just take the dead out, then you see what's left. Um, you have battles half one then. A lot of dead on there, you see, so I'll just go back to that little shoot there. Oh, the flower's gone anyway, so let's take it back a bit further. By opening it up, you won't get so much in the way of fungal diseases or anything, you'll get the air moving. Um, but there's lots of shoots here, which I think hopefully will keep, keep, keep going. So what I'm taking out, I know there's a few flowers on it, but I am getting rid of all this uh, dead stuff. <laughs> but Sam Vitalia's pushed all this way up here, so we'll reward it for its efforts by leaving it. I mean, these things we, we, we put into the, into the garden room to be on the safe side. But last year I left one out all winter. And I, I know I'm fairly sheltered here, but it, it did, didn't get caught by the frost at all. So it, it's always worth a try. And if you've got a couple, well, you've got a spare one anyway, just in case. I mean, I'm putting it in the garden room, but if you had a very light room, uh, a living room or something like that with plenty of light, um, that might work as well. Um, they don't really want it hot, but they really don't want to be caught by a frost. Tidy up here, take out these old leaves. Not really much to cut away. A bit of, bit of dead showing there, but that's got flowers on the end, so if I cut that back hard, it would... Uh, could lose, lose the colour and uh, I don't know whether it would shoot out again so we'll leave that be. A few, few flowers coming on the old um, convolvulus there look. Oh and this one um, Brachy's come flower coming through. So we'll see, and then we'll come back and have a look at it uh, next year, uh, well, maybe in a couple of weeks time in, in the spring. But whatever happens, I've got loads of cuttings there for the next year. Well, as you saw, I put up links to our other videos in the YouTube cards as how we look after our marguerite daisy throughout the year. If you enjoyed that, do consider following us. No charge, just push the subscribe button, ding the all important notification bell. In the meantime, we've really enjoyed having you in Somerset with us. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time.